Here. Okay. We're all care of. So I'm on this Zoom where I don't know anyone. Welcome, Kelvin. It's for and Patrice. Like a diversity council thing. Hello. I just was feeling optimistic and like ambitious and went ahead and agreed to be a part of it. So I'm on the Zoom right now. I don't know why I'm like nervous. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera on. Hello, and I can. I think I'm Hi, just on how are with you? a whole bunch of doctors. How are you doing? Thank you, guys. Thank so, you so much for joining us. I wish me luck. Hi everyone, my name is Taylor M and M1 on the Chicago campus and I'm a member of the Student Diversity and Inclusion Committee and also a student leader in the Urban Medicine Program. And when I heard about this program, it seemed to align with the other things that I've gotten involved with with my first semester. So I'm excited to get involved more. Um, okay, what else? I need the blood pressure cuff. I don't actually know if I need this, but maybe. Um, I might need this. I am almost positive that I don't need this. Okay. I'm just gonna put around my neck. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is figure out how to take a blood pressure. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Arms should be supported at heart level. Inflate the cuff rapidly above the point where the carat cuff sounds disappear. Okay, on your radio artery. you lift your hands like this and move your fingers all around make a fist and your wrist like this okay so move your elbows down and back up so your hands lift your shoulders back down okay your arms move i'm going to ask you to resist so put your arms straight out like this now i'm going to push down and resist them okay now put your wrist in this position I'm going to push back like this, resist my push. Okay, and lastly, put your arms up like this. 
I'm going to push you backwards, resist my push. Perfect. Thank you so much for your participation. And next, we will be examining your lower extremities. Okay. Good morning. It's Thursday and I'm going on campus today. So I'm just checking that I have everything that I need for the physical exam workshop. I have my reflex hammer. I don't think I'll need this, but I'm just going to bring it. I'm still pretty sure I don't need this either, but just in case. I have my stethoscope and um, the blood pressure cuff. So I realized yesterday, I should probably take this whole mess out. Um, I realized yesterday that I was doing the blood pressure wrong. I was listening with this side, when I should be listening with this side because this side is better for low pitch sounds. So now that I know that, I will definitely make sure to do it this side and not this side because I really couldn't hear anything. I'm going to change and get ready to head out. So this is what I'm wearing. I have on a sports bra and they asked us to wear shorts. I'm going to put on some sweatpants obviously because it's cold. But we're doing partners and we're going to have to check. Oh shoot. Yeah, this is okay. I'm going to have like a gown on. But with our partners, we're going to be like examining the shoulders, the arms, and then like all of the legs. So they just wanted this to be easily accessible. And then when I take this off, I'll have my gown on underneath. So let me go find some sweatpants to put on. I really do not wear sweats regularly. I have a, I could wear these, but they're like so old and messed up. Oh. Hmm, should I do these? These are really easy to just slip off. These are probably warmer though. So I think I'm gonna do these. So my lift is getting ready to pull up. I'm making sure I have my keys, got my wallet. I was gonna pack some food, but my session is in 50 minutes. I'm not really hungry right now. I'm just gonna pack a bottle of water. I think I'm going to treat myself to some lunch while I'm, oops, while I'm on campus. I did reserve a room, a study room for myself from three to five so I can get some work done. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's just turn off the light and head downstairs. My lift gets here. I think I'm gonna get there right about one. Hi. Yes, for Taylor. Oh no, that's okay. I couldn't see you behind the, the truck. No problem. I was right there. I finally got my white coat back. They spelled my name wrong initially. So I'm so happy. Let's see what else. If you're not comfortable, the idea is to kind of practice on each other or practice by yourself. If you're not comfortable with that, we also have these. I do. Oh my gosh, you guys are so <laughs> Great. Um, awesome. We're just going to do vital signs. We're going to do that for our time for and we're going to do that. And I don't know anything about your group at all, so Anything <laughs> okay. about you guys, so if you guys don't mind telling me a little bit about how life is that you think you want to go into, so I don't feel like. <laughs> Just like a stranger walking into your life. Sure. So I'm currently interested in infectious diseases. Cool. Came in initially interested in psychiatry, but that has completely changed. Um, and life is 
going well. I'm just like trying to figure out a strategy for anatomy because it feels like the studying is so different from the other blocks, but I like it better for some reason. So it's good. No complaints yet. Oh, I just switched my mask. Yeah, I totally feel the same way. Anatomy is so weird to study for after cramming all those diseases <laughs> in the last block. Yeah. Like it feels calmer, but at the same time, you just have to memorize everything. Yeah. So it's been a lot of trial and error. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to go into. I mean, it kind of changes week by week. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of interested in radiology, but I'm like open to anything that is covered. Yeah. I wanted to do PEDS, and then I finally did my PEDS rotation, and then I was like, nope. <laughs> so it took a while, and I liked everything under the sun. I liked radiology, I liked surgery, mm -hmm. I liked family med. Do I think it's plastic off? Or? I think it might be just weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a little good. Yeah. But I'm just trying to figure out what exactly is going to be. Well, we're going to record now. Yeah. Um, I feel like I need a lot of practice with the blood pressure cuff because our initial, like, Zoom session just did not work for me. Yeah, I practiced on my mom like five times, so that's all the training I Like, um, heart, lungs, abdomen. I don't have a separate one, though. So but basically, I would, you know, my knee is in your eyes. You got some, uh, you have to write it out for the alcohol. Yeah. I don't know what they do with our son. But basically, I, um, and I thought we did it for exam. We did it last year. But, um, you know, general inspection is going to encourage you looking at the patient and talking with them. Um, of course, you know, you look at the eyes and the ears. I would show me your teeth, if you smile, puff out those cheeks, right? Like they're blowing up a balloon and trying to make sure that they go in. Like if somebody has a uh, palsy, you'll see the difference. Um, and then I would have them show your shoulders up and down, and that would be the and your nerves, you get closer. Um, and then basically I would do like um, heart and lungs. And oh, you guys are gonna have a much better heart and lungs with Dr. Condos. And so just listening. Always on the stage with the heart Right, yes, very important. And you're listening for S1, S2, and then any abnormal heart, heart sounds. And then also getting under the apex. Now, I never feel, um, I've never done that, but I know the best part is the best part. All right, but I listen here, okay? When you have patients that have larger breasts, you can say, just ask them, can you lift your breasts up for me? Right, right. Now, I definitely always, this, when I'm doing a school physical, or a sports physical, I'm sorry, sports physical, I absolutely do all of these things, okay? because um, I'm looking for listening for a hypertrophic or cardiomyopathy. Hey guys, so I think that this facial I was wearing kind of like it didn't break me out, but my skin is a little bit irritated. Hopefully you can hear me. But I feel like I didn't have some of these bones before lab. But I got my white coat. Finally, they spelled my name wrong the first time. I got it back with my UIC patch. This looks so good. I'm gonna keep it in this bag <clears throat> so it won't get dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my computer because I did book this room for two hours from three to five. It's 3.19 right now. And I just ordered a salad from Chick-fil-A. So that should be here in like 30 minutes or so. I need to, I don't have any more classes today, which is nice, but I need to draft an email. I need to send an email 
and I want to go over our first lab um, module because I didn't fully go over it last week and I want to just have that reviewed before our anatomy review session which is at um, 6 tonight it's from 6 to 8 alright so first of all I'm wearing my mask like this because on campus like no matter what room you're in even if you're alone like I am they still want you to keep a mask on so I'm trying to follow the, ru the rules but it hurts behind my ears like when I wear a mask for too long so I'm just like letting it hang right here but anyway I am working on some anatomy practice questions and my Uber Eats delivery is finally like about to pull up but I wanted to show you how I best study for anatomy so let me turn the camera around I started this Google slides document probably the first definitely the first week of class but I'm basically taking this is what our lab modules look like. I'm taking screenshots of our lab modules and pasting them into this document. And then what I'll do is do a shape, just a rectangle, and cover up the answer. And I like to change this color to like pink. So I'll just copy and paste and cover up all the words so that when I want to go back and test myself I will have all these pictures like just here and ready to go I feel pretty comfortable leaving my things in here because I, this is so funny, I have the room reserved until five, so no one should be coming in here. But I do wanna make sure that I have my ID because I need it to get back into the building. Okay, let's go. I'm so glad I got this. Mm. 